Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to math. Today we're going to cover lateral and surface area, okay? On the specific figure, today we're dealing only with cylinders, okay? So our objective for today is to find or at least know how to find the lateral and surface area on a cylinder. Before we get started with the actual concept, I want you guys to run, run by you guys the equations and how a cylinder is labeled, okay? So let's start off with the cylinder. I'm gonna put your little board here on the board, as you guys can see, for a few seconds here. If you need more time to write this down, pause the video throughout, okay? To get all the information. So you guys can see, we have this base, up here, we also have the base down here. We have the radius and we have the height, okay? That's what we're gonna need today, okay? The base, the radius, and the height. The equations we're gonna be dealing with today are lateral area, okay? Which is L equals two pi radius Okay, the other one for surface area, because remember, we're finding both lateral and surface area. The one for surface area is surface area, or S, equals 2 pi height radius. Keep in mind, guys, the first part, notice that they have the same piece. Okay, I might have written it RH on this one and HR on the other one, but it's still the same equation for the first part, okay? So technically, once you solve for lateral area, you already have surface area halfway done, okay? So we have the first part from lateral area plus two pi r squared, okay? So again, once you find lateral area, you pretty much already have half of it. All we really need to find is the two pi r squared, okay? So let's get started on today's concept. I'm gonna write the equations on the board. Lateral equals two pi r h, okay? Surface area, all we're adding is the plus two pi r squared, okay? For surface area. So for lateral, if we have a cylinder, okay, that has a radius or a diameter, should I say, okay? If we have a cylinder, let's do a quick one here. It has a diameter of 12 and a height of 14, okay? That's all centimeters. So we have a uh, diameter of 12, height of 14. If, let me move it up here a little so you guys can see it. If you guys remember, for lateral area, we only need the first part of the equation, okay? So we have lateral, use another color here since we have purple up there on the board. Lateral equals two pi r h, okay? Notice that we have r, we have h, okay? We well, might not have r obviously in there, but since we have a diameter, all we have to do is cut that diameter in half to find the radius. Therefore, if the diameter is 12, half of 12 would be 6. So we have 2 pi, our radius, which is 6, and then our height, which is 14. I will say this, guys. 
You can literally, if you wanted to, just plug it in like this in the computer. If you have a calculator in there on your phone, or if you have an actual calculator, okay? You can always plug it in completely to just get your answer, okay? I'm gonna do it a little old fashioned. So we have lateral equals, I'm gonna multiply two times six, which is 12, okay, times 14, times pi, okay? Twelve times fourteen. We can find that out. We can say twelve times fourteen is four times two is eight. Four times one is four. We add a zero. One times two is two, and one times one is one. So we add it all up. We end up with a hundred and sixty-eight. So lateral equals if we do twelve times fourteen, a hundred and sixty-eight. Pi, but remember, we're actually finding the area, okay? Which means we have to convert that pi. You can either plug it into your calculator as pi, if your calculator doesn't have the signal of pi. You can also use 3.14, okay? My calculator actually has it in there, okay? When you get a decimal point, okay? Always, always. It tells you specifically what to round to. On this particular one, we're going to round to the nearest uh, tenth, okay? Meaning one decimal point or one number after the decimal point, okay? Let me go ahead and get a calculator really quick since I didn't really prep one for you guys here. All right, so we have 168 times pi, which equals 527.78, since the eight after the, the one next to the decimal is bigger than five, converts the one after, before that seven into an eight. So we have lateral equals Five seven five point seven point seven eight. But again, since the eight is bigger than five, it becomes lateral equals five twenty seven point eight centimeters. Because remember, we're dealing with centimeters. And then, since we're dealing with area, we put a square. So our answer is five hundred and twenty seven. For the lateral, 527.8 centimeters squared. Now that we have that answer, we can actually make it a lot easier, right? Since we already solved for one, we can solve for surface area. But remember, for surface area, part of it is your lateral area. Since we already have it, we're halfway done. So now we can actually have... 527.8 plus the second part to our equation, which in this case is 2 pi r squared. Okay? Since we already have a number here, there's nothing that can be done to it. We just keep it bringing it down. Plus 2. Pi, we plug in our radius. If you guys remember, we use the same exact radius. We had a diameter that we cut in half to give us six. So that's the six we're going to use squared. We bring down the 527.8 plus 2 pi, but now we're going to get rid of that square. So six times six, okay, with the square. It's 36. Now that we have that 36 in there, we can simplify this equation then. Okay? You could literally plug it in again, like this into your calculator, but for the purpose of this video and to make it, you know, 
a little more old school. We're going to keep it going. Plus 36 times 2, okay? The 72 pi. Since we have a 72 pi, we can actually figure out what that is, okay? We can go ahead and say 72 times pi, which is 226.19, again, 226.19, since it's 19, we can round to 20, so therefore 226.2, which once you add it, okay, we can add 527.8 plus 226.2 equals 754, okay? So our surface area, I always like to put SA, okay? Because just an S is technically also a side. I like to put surface area equals 754 centimeters squared. Because remember, we're still dealing with area, okay? So our surface area value is 754. And that's it. Remember, we have to solve, solve for lateral. Unless you want to solve for surface area first, where you have to plug it all in, and then therefore just take out the part for lateral area, that is also fine. But for some of us, it's better just to find one piece than the other. Makes it a lot easier. Make sure you have the whole problem on your notes. I'm going to step out of the screen here for a minute. All right, we're going to do one more just to really understand the concept, okay? All right, guys, so let's do the second example. Notice that I have another cylinder here on the board. This time I actually gave you a radius, okay? The radius is 4. The height is 8 centimeters, okay? We're going to use, again, the same exact equations, okay? For lateral area, 2 pi height radius, okay? For surface area, we're using the part of the lateral plus 2 pi r squared. So let's start off with the lateral one. So lateral area equals 2 pi our height. If you guys remember, the height is 8, and the radius is already given to us, which is 4. So lateral area equals 2 times 4 is 8 times 8 is 64. Okay, so I multiply 2 times 4, which gave us 8, times 8 is 64, okay? We could have done it 2 times 8 times 4 as well. All right, now we have 64 pi. When we multiply 64 pi, if you don't have pi again, use 3.14, because remember, the objective of today is to solve for lateral area and surface area. So we have 64 pi, which is 200, so the lateral area equals 201.06, okay? The 6 makes a 0 and 1, okay? Now that we have the first part, the lateral area, we can actually solve for the surface area. Remember, we already have part of it. So let's use another color here, just to know the difference. So we have surface area equals 201.1 plus 2 pi r, which r, we already know what it is, which is 4. 4 squared. So, so surface area equals 201.1 plus 
4 times 4, because remember it's, just, it's square, 4 times 4 is 16, times 2 is 32 pi. So surface area equals 201.1 plus 32 pi, and we plug it into our calculator, 32 pi, 100, so equals 100.53. Since the 3 is smaller than 5, it's just 5. You really don't need to zero, okay? We can actually now combine them. So our final answer for surface area equals 100 plus 200 is 301.6 centimeters square, okay? Don't forget it also in the lateral area is centimeters square. And that's it. We saw for lateral and surface area for a cylinder. All right, guys, make sure you write this one as well. I'm going to step out of the screen here for a minute again so you guys can write it down. All right, I hope you guys have it down. If you need more time, pause the video. If you have any questions, let me know, guys. Once you're done watching the video, make sure you submit your answers. I'll be here waiting for your emails.